Today we're going to cover off two configurations of the two-man shelter, also known as the basher or tarp. As seen here is the A-frame configuration and subsequently we'll do what's termed the lean-to. Advantages, easily set up. It provides good protection in the rain and against winds. Uh, an added thing that you should do depending on the likelihood of rain, is dig a small trench around your tarp. This will help in drainage and keeping <coughs> the risk of water entering inside. Also, using foliage that may be available to you, cover over these end bits here, these side bits here, and bits over the top of the tarp. This aids concealment and also protection against wind and rain. So let's get... Uh, going with putting up our apron. Taking the eyelet at the end here, get your bungees through there, put it right around the tree just above waist height will do, you can always adjust this later. Don't worry about any tension because we'll be tensioning from the other end. So there we go, okay? Right, taking the other end, the eyelet at the other end, bungee through there, Bring up to your tree, but this time bring it round the tree. Don't do what people do like a rope and try and pull a bungee like this, that's not the way to do it. Take it round, tension in it, get a good tension on it, then take up the slack. As you can see down there, there's good red line, reasonably tensioned all the way around. Right, now to pegging out. Okay, so pegging out. Pretty straightforward. Get your pegs in. You'll find your eyelet under the handle. There we go. Let me come out a bit. You can always adjust these a bit later. So with one side sufficiently done, then crack on and peg out the other. And there you have it, your well-tensioned, pegged out shelter for the night. Right, we'll now move on and cover off the lean-to configuration. Right, so taking the corner, there's not a lot of space between these two tree trunks here so we take a slightly different approach rather than having to put your bungee around it 20 times if you need to shorten your bungee the condition just tie a simple knot in it that you can undo later save you the problem having to go round and round and round and round the tree trunks here. hook on as we did previously round the trunk this is a non-tensioned end so no dramas probably best to give it a second ration if we can Pop it through the eyelet. Right, apply a bit more tension this end. Through the eyelet. Round the tree. Take up the tension this end. <coughs> then take off the slack. That's that done, as you can see, it's uh, nicely positioned and good tension on that line, not bad at all. Right, now the pegging out, <coughs> draw it out so it's nicely tensioned, Oop. there we go, let's see the first one in, <coughs> might need to go over this later. Take out all the kinks. Okay, under the handle you'll find the eyelet.
there you have it. Same thing again, dig a trench around the front and sides if there's likely to be rain around the back and cover this area, leaves, foliage, whatever you can to provide extra protection against the wind and water. Putting stuff on top of the top here for Ali Cabo will depress the centre and like I said if you can take off some cord or bungees if you've got them uh, to a higher branch if there's one available just to provide a bit of extra lift on these centre bits. Okay, good. Right, well, the other enhancement I mentioned about is if you've got two poles, you can put them in what effectively is the centre line pilot, either end, which provides you um, with a little bit more ground cover. If you look in there, they tend to move about a bit, so best thing to do is take one of your spare bungees, pull it out a little. off onto the ground. Similarly with the other end. Just hook round here. Just give it a bit more rigidity as you can see in the back bit. On the top of the top. gives you more room to move about in inside easily gets two of you in kit could be positioned down here as long as you keep it under the under the ridge line so to speak or the side line keep it from water it can provide you with some decent protection um, and like I say you have got moving room about having the poles there certainly adds um, a certain advantage to this configuration a certain enhancement that brings a lot of pluses okay right that's it